Eight migrants are in ICE custody this morning after a raid where police discovered illegal guns and drugs in the house where they were squatting. All of this happening just steps away from an elementary school in the Bronx. And by the way, this is not the first time some of these suspects have been in police custody. Hannah Doba is live for us in New York this morning. Hannah, even more arrests were made in this case just recently. Yeah, good morning, Marquis. We know seven of the eight people arrested during last week's raid are now in immigration and customs enforcement custody. Two of those suspects also faced murder and assault charges in the last year, but they were released. Three more people were arrested yesterday. We're going to show you some new video. It shows federal agents at this home in the Bronx Wednesday afternoon. There you see it on the security footage. Authorities walking several people out of the home in handcuffs. This all started last Wednesday when police responded to a call about a man with a gun near the school you mentioned. Police chased two Venezuelan migrants with illegal guns into their home where they discovered they had been squatting in the basement. Here's a look at that basement. Inside, police say they found several more guns, cocaine and ketamine, all in the presence of a seven-year-old child. Five more men and one woman were arrested. Now, the suspect who prompted that 911 call that set all of this off, it's this guy on your screen, Hector de Sousa Vuelta. He was accused of shooting a man last year. He was charged with attempted murder, but was later released. Why are our cops there a second time arresting people that one had an open gun indictment walking the streets, one had an open attempted murder shooting in Yonkers? And that's the question so many are asking. Now, when it comes to D'Souza Vuelta's latest appearance in court, a judge let him go again on supervised release despite the DA's request to set bail. The same judge released two other squatters and another judge let three more go on supervised release. Now, the Police Benev Benevolent Association of New York say officers are doing their jobs, but they can't keep arresting repeat offenders. And judges need to hold them accountable. Mark, I know this is happening in New York, but we've been seeing these cases nationwide. Yeah, across the country, it's hard to wrap your mind around why it keeps happening. Really? Hannah Doba, thanks so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.